So the Martin Pipe Handicap Hurdle is next, and this is a two and a half mile handicap hurdle. And there's quite a big field for this one. I'll take a look at them. The top one is Legally Yours, Paul Rhodes. Zombie, Joshua Sutherland, Money Goes Away, Darren Thompson, Banana Split, Kevin Meanahan, Cop Out, Graham Clutterbuck, Whip Hand, Martin Leedham, Fight the Power, Leon Van Rensburg, Business Lady, Alex Cherry, Usually Small, Daniel French, Lily Lightning, David Robertson, Musty Mutt, Stu Gray, The Bear, Derek Hinton, Trojan General, Daniel French, Sunset Ride, Martin Leedham, Loud Dan's, Darren House, Ricciardo, James Follis, Pearl Necklace, Obi-Wan, Kenny Nadu, that Stu Gray, Zalano Beat, Alex Cherry, Night Fever, Derek Hinton, Man Queen, Darren Howes, Little Apple, Carla Agante, and Rigazzoni, James Follis. So 23 of them then. And two and a half miles a trip. Still raining, and away we go. And one or two of these will well, we try not to get caught too wide or too far back. It's not quite as bad as a two two mile race yesterday where there was a huge field and some of them just never got into the race at all but Pearl Necklace is the one that's going to lead them into the first I would think they're only going to take eight flights in the two and a half miles that they travel and Pearl Necklace is the leader from Zalano beat in second and then the second Alex Cherry Horse Business Lady is in third can he do that on the inside and Stu Graves hoping his musty mutt can continue with its good form could win in the last two weeks it's running about mid-division wide on the track at the moment. I'm sure he'll be not too pleased about the position of that one. So Pearl Necklace then, as usual, has gone off early in the lead. And Zalano beats second, Little Apple third as they finally get to the first flight. And they're all over it OK. The cop out lost a little bit of ground in the air there, made a bit of a mistake. The back marker early on. It's usually small and Trojan general, the two Daniel French horses keeping themselves company at the back. And Pearl Necklace is the leader. So they come to take the flight, that'll be the last on the next circuit. It'll be Pearl Necklace that leads them into it from Zalano Beat. Over it they go. Good jump on the outside there by Lily Lightning. And get a look from the for the stand then now as we see them race it away one more circuit of the track and it's Pearl Necklace as the leader so Pearl Necklace in the lead then from Lily Lightning in second then Zalano beat his three little apple is four Night Fever is five and can he do that six then Legally Your seven and Land Dan's eight then Musty Button fight the power Ricciardo and the bear then Business Lady after that one Zombie and Regazzoni then towards the rear of the field, whip hand and banana split with cop out on the outside as they take the third. The back two are still usually small and Trojan general. And Pearl Necklace in the lead. Trying to give Obi-Wan a quick double. Uh, Zalano beats in second. Little Apple is third as they take that one. Then comes Lily Lightning in fourth. Legally yours after that one. Then Loud Dan's and Night Fever. Can they do that next? Then Ricciardo and Musty Mutt as they take the fifth. All safely over that one as well. Pearl Necklace, Little Apple and Zalano beat together. They've got just a little bit more than a mile to go. And there's a group of three up front. Pearl Necklace, Little Apple and Zalano beat. Then there's a group of four. Loud Dan's Legally Yours, Night Fever and Lily Lightning. A gap then to the remainder are headed by Fight the Power. With Zombie and Canning they do that as they take the next... Bears also trying to get a little bit closer. And towards the back of the field. Whip Panda and Sunset right near the back in the front. So his money goes away. Musty Mutt is going to have to get going soon. Not very well placed at all that one. At this stage as they come past the six furlong pole. And Little Apple's now gone on. Little Apple's the new leader from Pearl Necklace in second. Then comes Zalano beating Lily Lightning. Then Night Fever, Loud Dan's Ricciardo. Legally was then getting well strung out again these hurdlers. Just like they did yesterday. And it's Little Apple and Pearl Necklace who are still the leaders from Zalano beat. I can't think of anything that's going to get into this race from out of the first dozen or so now as they take the next. That was the second last. They've only got four furlongs to go. And it's Pearl Necklace and Loud Dan's. 
one and two from Little Apple and then Lily Lightning. Then comes Ricciardo running on well. Zalano beat Trojan General. Fight the powers trying to get into it. So two's the bear. And then after that one is legally yours. Nothing else can win this, I don't think. And it's Pearl Necklace then racing down towards the final flight in the lead by about two lengths. Could this be a quick double for Obi Wan? Here comes Loud Dance in hot pursuit. Then Lily Lightning. Then comes Little Apple. Ricciardo is between these five now as they come down towards the final flight. It's Pearl Necklace in the lead now being strongly pressed by Little Apple on the outside. Little Apple goes to the lead. Little Apple lands in front. Here comes Loud Dance. Lily Lightning. Pearl Necklace. Ricciardo trying to run on. So too Zelano beat. But it's Little Apple. Little Apple is too clear. And Little Apple doesn't look like stopping. Little Apple is relishing the hill and racing up towards the line. Little Apple's going to take this one for Carlo Agante. Ricciardo's running on well at the back. But it's Little Apple that takes it. Ricciardo's second. Close for third. Zolano beat Lily Lightning. Then Loud Downs and Night Fever. Musty Mott never got into it at all. Neither did quite a few of them. And Little Apple takes it for Carl Aragante. Ricciardo second for James Follis. Zalano beat for Alex Jerry was third. Lily Lightning, David Rawson fourth. Uh, Loud Dance for Darren Howes was fifth. One or two big disappointments in there. Never got into that race at all. Looking down the list. And you can see one or two big name trainers down there. One or two people who thought their horses had got some chances. Didn't get anywhere near the front end of that race at all. So a good win for Little Apple and Carl Aragante.